two of the Peerhead Sessions Festival and this morning we attended a workshop called How to Be a Global Citizen. Um, I caught up with two of the key speakers and also spoke to a group of young people who are off to Sudan tomorrow to become global citizens. So we're here with Kevin Higgins, the Director of the British Council um, in Wales. Um, Kevin, you took part and introduced the uh, Peerhead Festival session this morning about global citizenship. Uh, what does it mean to be a global citizen in Wales? Well, I think um, everybody is a global citizen to some degree or other because all of our lives are influenced by just external factors that we can't control. And that can be just in a local environment in terms of uh, uh, employment, the fact that we might find our, we have an international employer who we, we work with, a company that's international, um, the business partners we work with, the customers and suppliers. Or it can be to do with how our lives have been influenced just recently and the fact that uh, it's financial sort of difficulties in the US that started off or kicked off the economic kind of disruption that we have across the globe and which all of us now are experiencing in our everyday lives, uh, you know, as part of our sort of normal experiences. So it's that impact, that external effect on our lives and the recognition and dealing with those uh, issues of external impact on our lives. And the fact, of course, as well, that our personal choices have such wide ranging global implications. Uh, it, it, so our behaviours affecting other people. So girls, you're off to Sudan tomorrow as part of the Active Citizens Project. Um, how and why did you get involved in this project? Um, Harry. <laughs> uh, the Active Citizen project itself is to try and um, create uh, communication between um, countries and people that might not necessarily talk. Um, we were uh, brought in um, basically just through word of mouth. Um, either I think it was text message for you, yeah. and um, we were we knew the coordinator was working in my in Safe Wales anyway, so we were kind of introduced through it that way. Um, the, it should be it should be quite good it's, yeah, uh, yeah we're looking forward to yeah it. <laughs> definitely um it's a pilot scheme so it's all kind of first time for quite a few people with with the british council and how can people become more actively involved in global citizenship in wales I think there's, there's lots of ways to do that. It can be as simple as uh, how one shops, so about ethical trading or fair trade or those kind of issues. It can be about being more active, being more involved in particular interest groups that have um, uh, all kinds of uh, aspects of interest. It could be environmental or, or whatever. Um, it can also be more involved than that. It can be depending on your professional interest about forming collaborations internationally and just sort of forming cross-cultural uh, contacts because it gives you a greater awareness about what your um, experience are. You look at your own lives with new, new eyes and also the opportunity to be able to kind of work with other people overseas in the different cultures and get experiences from them and, and really you end up with a growing awareness of the interdependencies that are so much a part of global citizenship. During the Peerhead session this morning you showed us some non-Hollywood films portraying life in Africa and what are the benefits of using film as a medium to educate young people about global issues? I think it's a very immediate medium. It's a medium that they're familiar with um, and it also gives them the African filmmaker's point of view of Africa rather than the Hollywood view, which is what I wanted to do. Because quite often the Hollywood view would be a sensationalised or an over-dramatised way of showing things. Uh, African filmmakers quite often look at things in a different way. They look more at the texture, at the detail of people's lives. Uh, what do you hope to get from the experience? <clears throat> to meet people that I've never met before and uh, develop some kind of communication and just make hopefully make some new friends over there as well. But um, also find out if, um, learn from them um, on how they're doing, because they'll be doing similar projects to what we're doing over here. So learning from a different culture, different people, and hopefully gaining some experience in what to do in, over here as well. So it'll be quite good.